What's up guys, this is Puerto Rican Boy, and this is part um, 13 of Jack 2. Why do I keep forgetting what part I'm watching? Jesus Christ. How's it riding in the hood, Red? Get out of the area. This is Crimson Guard business. One of Vin's eco-tankers is coming in from the wasteland, but the clearance transmission sounded fishy. The driver was scared. We're going to check it out, just in case. How can we help? I've got it handled. Ah! A metalhead sneak attack! Damn! It's just us! Help me take out all the metalheads! This is the same exact mission from before, except we have the blaster and the Vulcan Fury. It's way easier than the last one. Um, not really much to say, the comet hunt. It's the same exact thing as the last time we were with Ashlyn. We're just fighting the same. It's, even the enemies are the same. Well, actually, they used a different metal head. But the ones that shock you, they kept that one. And then they just put in the gorilla ones, I guess. We got them all. The metalheads are getting bolder every day. It's almost like they're testing our defenses, like probing attacks. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you're welcome. Like, the, the, all they did was just replace the big guys that shoot at you with those apes. Nothing really different. And I'm about to jump cut. Now I'm going to get some dark eco because I need it. There we go. I want you boys to escort the kid over to Core at the power station. He promised to look out for the boy, and I'm just too busy to babysit right now. Oh, and take the kid's crocodog with you. Oh, isn't he sweet? <laughs> so what's this kid's story? I found him just wandering the streets, but that amulet around his neck means he may just be the lost heir to the city. Take the kid and the mutt to the power station. Watch out for guard patrols and defend the kid at all costs. Oh, and uh, if you happen to lose the crocodog. Hey, kid! Wait! Come back! We gotta protect him! Alright, so this is a pretty simple escort mission. These guards, they don't actually shoot at you, so. Really, just use the blaster and just kill everyone you see. It's not that hard. But you do have to keep a close eye on the kid. Because he's just going to wander off. He's not going to follow you. And if all the guards surround him, if they surround him for too long, you fail the mission. So, you know, just be careful with that. But really, you know, this is actually pretty easy. It's just a matter of keeping an eye on the kid and just not letting the guards swarm you like, oh god, did I really just die? Okay, don't do what I did there. I, I probably should have mentioned that, that in this game, you know, you don't really heal after a mission, so when you go into another mission, you're probably going to have half your health gone. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So what I should have done is just died on purpose just to refill my health, but I didn't. Because I'm reckless like that. But this isn't really that hard. Now I'm not getting hit at all. Just... You know, it's really important that you do have full health for this mission, though, because this mission, like, there's no checkpoints for this mission. And it's probably because it's a pretty short mission, so, you know, just keep that in mind. There's no checkpoints. That's the thing about Jack 2. When you think there's supposed to be a checkpoint somewhere, there isn't. And that was one thing that really frustrated me and a lot of other people. Is that, you know, we're expecting a checkpoint at a certain part. And there isn't. 
So now at this point, we're like at the halfway point of the mission, and now everyone's shooting at you like they're actually using bullets rather than the taser. However, this part's incredibly easy because, first of all, you're in a vehicle. If you remember to stay on a low hover zone to avoid the kamikaze guards, you shouldn't really have a problem getting to the power station. You know, just don't stand still and let the guard shoot at you. And at this point, though, there's like no guards on screen shooting at you. Like, look at this. It's completely empty, and it's always like that. So pretty much you can breeze through this part regardless of the fact that guards are shooting at you. And yeah, these guards, look at that, we're already done. There's like no guards opposing us, they're not really doing anything. Whereas before the beginning, those guards like swarmed us. I don't know, it's weird. But yeah, this is the end of the mission. It's not that hard. Let's get these two to core. Samus told us to bring the kid to you. Thank you. I'll be sure to keep him good. Oh, sweet. Interesting. That insufferable mutt never liked anyone but the boy before. I guess I'm just good with animals. I hope we have enough eco to keep the metalheads at bay. During my travels in the deep wasteland, I saw some of the bigger ones. Awesome creatures. We saw a big one coming out of a rift once. He was ugly! <laughs> I have some valuable information for you. The Baron is conducting an excavation at the dig. He is still looking for that ridiculous tomb. Frankly, I don't believe it exists. But you might as well go out there and disrupt his operation just in case. Knock down all the scaffolding at the site. That should set him back. Here is an air train pass to get you out there. Nothing so far. Alright, and now we're gonna head over to the dig. Don't mind the green dots on the map. I'm gonna do that later. But we're gonna head to the dig site. One interesting thing you should know is that from the pumping station, you can reach here using a grind rail. I don't think I showed off in this playthrough. I wish I did because it's actually pretty cool. Because the levels are actually connected. Which is some, which is weird because in the first game it wasn't like that. You can't go to a level f from one level to another. You can't go from Sentinel Beach to Misty Island. You can't do that. You have to go through the hub world first, which is Sandover Village. And you know, whereas in this game you can go from one level to another, like the pumping station to the dig site. It's really weird. And yeah, this is the dig site, and one thing is that these guards, they've acquired a, they use a different weapon. What they're gonna do is they like to shoot these little bombs at you. They don't blow up immediately. Instead, it's sort of like a mine in that they only explode when you touch it. That or they explode after a certain time. The thing is that though, you it is kind of easy to get hit if you're not looking, if you're not looking around. Uh, so, you know, just keep that in mind, like, just, you have to, you have to be, I don't know, you have to be very attentive, if that, if that's the word, um, just pay attention your surroundings you know make keep in, keep a close eye on the ground to make sure that you're not stepping on these little bombs because you know personally though I do find it a bit easier to dodge in bullets 
But even then, you still gotta keep your eyes on the floor. So some people might find this a bit harder than, you know, the guards that, that shoot at you. Or shoot bullets. But me, I kind of find this a bit easier. I remember I beat this on my first try when I first played the game. And I was in second grade when I got this game. So you should be able to play it, you know, I'm assuming that you're much older than that. So you know. And of course this is a nice little jet board mission. One thing about the second act of the game is that it does focus a lot on the jet board. There's a lot of jet board missions and platforming challenges and puzzles that involve using the jet board like this one. And I believe I'm gonna do another mission that requires the jet board. So it's really useful. However, don't stay the entire time on the jet board. What am I doing? Okay, whatever. So, you know, in this mission, don't stay on the jet board because if you touch an enemy while on the jet board, you take damage. So, you know, just get off the jet board, shoot the enemies, and then get on the jet board. Other than that, you can really breeze through this mission. You don't have to kill all the enemies. And if you don't feel like getting off the jet board, you could just do a flip or a spin, and you can hit the enemies, and they'll take damage, and you won't. So just keep that in mind when using the jet board. Anyways, yeah, this is Puerto Rican Boy. I'm out. Please subscribe, and see you guys later.